know? So I was like, uh, I'm friends, so like, cool, I'll bring, like Chloe, I'll bring the camera. Yeah, cool. I'll take our, our friend Larson here is on an episode of Vice. Uh, oh. Vice, uh, I think it was like called like, Love in the City or, or something, I don't know, it profiled Chloe Holmes. Oh. Like uh, all the like LA yeah. people. Socialites, yeah. Socialite. I guess she's graduated, she's still a model though, but she graduated to be officially being called an LA socialite. Well, you know, all you young kids with your roof parties, COVID, <laughs> what, what's COVID? You know, know. Hey guys, cheers guys. Cheers, cheers. Good to see you dude. So good Blink. fucking seeing you guys, Very it's been so long. Mm -hmm. Holy fuck. It has been forever. I was telling Larson like, <clears throat> last time I saw him was like a house party somewhere in, in the hills in 2019. That's right. And then like, you were pretty wasted, I, think you, I think you were there too. You, we were with you. Like, I feel like we I were hanging out. Yeah. Yeah. What party is I'm this? I'm trying to think what party was. Wait. Like uh, trying wait, to get wait, Larson wait. to remember what, what party, party he might have been at. Was it a party <laughs> where we were all sitting on the fucking bed? Uh, oh, no, not that party. That, that was I different. That. I remember that party with you, yeah. <laughs> what? That, that, yeah, there was a, I walk into a bedroom and there's quite a lot of people on a single bed and I, was, uh, I don't know what you, you guys were like, doing. I just gotta get in there. <laughs> yeah, just see what's exactly. going on. Whoa. Hey, we're recording already. Let's see, go. See how Very like cool. flo flowy? flowy that yeah, is. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Is, this, is, this, is this good? It's live, yeah. No, the placement no, like, is good. And, oh. and, and listener, I want you to know, we only have one listener, by the way. Oh, yeah. amazing. Oh, one listener. That's good. That's great. It's better than zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Christian Shintani, photographer Christian Tani has just completed his vocal warm ups. Oh, I did. Cool to see. be on I mic. Did. I did. And uh, Chris. I sound Watt. great right now. Yeah, I, I, I was going to say, I you do good. sound good. Yeah. Yeah. Normally you're like, hi, I'm Chris. Yeah. Shout out, <laughs> shout out Jessica Luis for uh, giving me those vocal lessons. It's yeah, great, that's, yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe it's not really a vocal lesson. Instead, she just wanted to see if you just blow into water oh. through a straw for think, five minutes yeah, just yeah. to see if you do it. She wanted to see if i blow. And then, like, yeah, I'll follow it, could be, yeah. <laughs> Indeed, so sitting yeah. across the table from me, uh, oh, by the way, I'm Lucas Passmore. Uh, I'm a fashion <laughs> photographer, commercial fashion photographer here in uh, Los it's Angeles, obvious. California. It's fine, guys. And uh, sitting across from me is one Christopher Shintani, aka Shintani, aka Mad Dog. Oh, Mad Dog. Uh, Mad Dog. Mad yeah, dog. I just I gave like you that. Mad I kind of nice. I think we should switch to Mad Dog. <laughs> I like the Mad Dog. You should take Mad Dog. No, no. Yeah. I, I can't pull that Mad Dog. You could pull I Mad Dog. I don't. You have a lot of jewelry on. You could. He has a lot of jewelry. Yeah, you yeah. Pull Mad Dog. Mad off. Dog. Yeah. Uh, Mad yeah. Dog. And who we <laughs> and who we are talking to is one Larson Satello. Am I saying your last name right? That's the, Correct. You know what? I'm the, glad you. Welcome to the show, Larson Satello. Well. Yeah. Really good. I'm glad Most I, people I'm, don't get it. What do they say? Larson or like they say Saletto. Saletto. They, they never say it, they never pronounce it correctly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's because they're racist. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> clearly. Clearly. It's pretty yeah, yeah, easy. Yeah. So tell them. Yeah. 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 And, not, and yeah. at this table between the three of us is two and a half Asians. So I feel we're, we're really <laughs> representing that 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 community here. Um, obviously, I should go without saying that uh, everyone at this table is a fashion photographer slash commercial fashion photographer, including myself in that. Category, but I'm an uh, intern. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. I'm Lars? A PA, actually, I just shoot iPhones. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so into that. <laughs> real quick, why don't we uh, play a little catch up and let yeah, the uh, listener know what we've kind of been up to? We're 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 coasting to the end of 2021, where it's uh, Christmas is a week away, and we're just having like a good time and some drinks and catching up. But um, what's the end of your years? What's Q4 have been like for you guys? Uh, Shantani, you have been shooting for Revolve quite a bit. What Thank have you, you been sir. doing? Where have you been traveling the last uh, two quarters? Q4 has been very everywhere. I don't know. Yeah, I was, um, like, we we did Nashville. We were in Nashville for Revolve. Uh, for Revolve, um, but also too it was my birthday mm -hmm. and my lady's birthday. So nice. October was filled with <clears throat> Formula One in Austin, um, Vegas, just to go eat. We did an adult Vegas trip. Whoa. Did you don't know if any of you shows? listeners want to hear this at all, but uh, <laughs> we we finally did it where we just went for food and show, and that was it. No nice. clubs, no none of that. We adult. That's very adult. gambled and ate and drank and ate more. Nice, nice. Fantastic. Larson, what have you been doing, man? I'm, again, I haven't seen you in I know two it's years. Been, I've seen you on Instagram. We talked. Is it so two years? Like it can't two, be like two years. Yeah. Probably like one year. No, yeah, two years. Yeah, 2020. Yeah, obviously, right. But again, like we've been the traveling a little bit though. What have you been doing for, what have you been shooting? What have you been doing for work? I've been shooting for like a lot of activewear brands. So yeah. like I'm working with this client of mine, they have like different activewear brands that they work with. So I just kind of shoot with them. Actually, I got a referral from you guys, from you. I gave um, you a referral? Yeah, you did. Were they, um, were they good? Did they pay you a million Janie. dollars? No, 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 no. There, um, oh yeah, no, um, no, yes, no. Janie. Yeah, oh, what's, yes. um, what's her brand's name? LA oh, Collective. Yeah, I love her, she's yes, great. Yes, yeah. they're, they're, no, they're really cool. And then I've worked, been working with some other uh, brands as well, similar to it. And then a little bit more, little bit more music as well. I'm trying to get in, more into that. 
Oh, it's like all a different field, what? but like shooting musicians. Like just shooting musicians. Because you shot Naked and Famous I shot, at my, yeah, yeah, at my that was, studio. That was they were like really cool. I love those guys. I didn't um, even know that was them because I didn't ask you who it was. I know. And I and then like there, I was playing a soundtrack because I was just kind of helping. Wait, did out. you did you play the song? Yeah, and, and like they, one of their songs come on. They're like, I like the song. I'm like, yeah, they're great. And Larson's like, they're like, like, this is the fucking band you gave. I'm like, oh Jesus. Wait. No, that actually happened. That was amazing. I forgot that happened. Wow, that was great. Yeah. Oh, I'm so shit. cool, and I, I'm so awesome. up to date on things. What if you want? You don't have to say who they are yeah. if you don't want to. But any uh, notable musicians that uh, you, you um, enjoy? Just more smaller ones for now. I mean, like I like working with more smaller ones right now because they're giving you, me a lot of creative freedom. Oh, that's dope. Um, instead of like you know working with. I mean, obviously, I'd want to work with a lot bigger. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Wait, obviously, but it's right? like cover, like some like covers and PRs, like that? cover oh, PRs. Shit. Okay, wait, um, I know it's a little bit more better. I feel like fashion for me is like I haven't really been feeling like more creative on that point. Mm. It's it's, it's a like very inspired and shit like that from it. Yeah, just yeah, like yeah. a different. But working with a musician gives you a little more creative freedom. Mm. Let me shoot a lot more film. Yeah, which is. My kind of like thing. Yeah, we'll be talking about um, just flash forward spoilers, guys. uh, Listener, so Uh, we'll be talking about film. Film is the thing that we. uh... They're like, what's film? (laughs) What is that? They're even like, what's an R five? I shoot everything on my iPhone. Yeah, Yeah. pretty much. Pretty much right now. But that's interesting. You say it's like you know because obviously we all met each other, uh, you know. In the beginning, because by, by the way, listener, we all go way back, like do way, way back, we're OGs. Like ten years, we're something dinosaurs. like that. Yeah, yeah, cool. we're, we're fossils. And uh, <laughs> it's interesting that because I, I kind of feel I'm kind of the same way. It's like you kind of go through interests as far as you know, you, you do fashion for so long. It's like yeah. okay, well, yeah, maybe you need to step away for a little bit and you get to go do something a lot more creative. Uh, flexibility, yeah, you know, because the the higher in Shintani, you can speak to this too. Like the higher, you're like you, Yoshino, just fucking go out to Joshua Tree. Yeah. Grant wow. Yoshino has the Dude, right he's idea. He's in Joshua Tree right he's now. Just, he's, that's all just yeah. vibe in Joshua Tree. I love that. Yeah, but sometimes you need to go away to come that's back, like you know. Idea. And yeah. um, but like I can ima- I can imagine like the higher the I can imagine how you feel, Larson. Like the higher you go in fashion, the more restriction sometimes Absolutely. it is because yeah. there's just more estate, there's more money yeah. being spent, um, higher profile clients, and so there's a lot more creative control that's out of your hands. Yeah. M- musicians, I kind of feel they're like, I mean, you correct me if I'm wrong. Hey man, like it's your vision. You tell me. You kind of yeah. have to sell them a little bit on what you want to exactly. do, but then they, then they kind of trust you, which is yep. must be must be nice. Yeah, it feels great. I mean, like you know, it's it's kind of a collaboration. You know, especially they reach out to you because they see your work and they kind of like want to keep that still intact and give you another kind of an idea of what they want, and then you yeah. get to kind of combine it both. I love that aspect of it. Um, so um, nice. Yeah, very cool. Uh, so is it still all stills? Doing all stills. You know what? I need to get into videos. Yeah, to that's be that's what. Uh, oh. Yeah, because that's what uh, the, the pandemic. I taught myself. I got a Sony A7S III just to start, and yeah. I taught myself Premiere over that over 2020. Uh, that's probably the best way to do it. Yeah, and yeah, because we had, all of us were kind of you know not Listen, shooting. Yeah, yeah. Call of Duty every day. <laughs> you were like, oh, damn it! Everyone learned all these skills during the pandemic, and I was like. Let's get on with the boys. Yeah, yeah. But no, video is, and it's because like about 2017, 2018, people started asking more, oh, do yeah. you also do video? And I video was sick is of a saying, big thing. No. Yeah. You know, and I think with like IGTV and obviously TikTok. Um, it's, it's part of it. Yeah. Like just, every, every photo shoot that's happening needs video. Yeah. Right? No, yeah. it's not just stills anymore. So one of my, fir- the first time I got asked, uh, so Wrangler, uh, I did a campaign for Wrangler and they asked me if I had any um, references for um, video. And I'm like, I, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah like, I can do it. And I did. I looked, I, that was my first job. I didn't tell them that was my first job. Ever. <laughs> but it was like, I wasn't shooting a commercial. It was, you know, social media stuff. Right. So pretty low, low stakes. But um, turned out great. But it's just one of those things. It's like I was just sick of giving other people the job. Yeah. Although it just creates that much more work for you. <laughs> like, yeah, absolutely. Because you bill for it, though. So. For sure. But you think like, <laughs> which I also learned. Yeah. Building for video is like significantly easier <laughs> for a higher rate. Right? Is that true? Yeah. Like, you're like, Wait, well, how do you color things in video? And you're like, whoa. <laughs> so if I just know how to like do certain things. Yeah. Do you know like, how to apply a lot? Yeah. <laughs> and, like, and mess whoa. with the opacity. There's a lot. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm trying to get into it. Um, are you like, are you directing at least or? I, I am not even, I should get into that. Like I, sometimes I just focus so much more on like just the still part of it. And part of me, I'm always kind of against the whole like, all right, I don't want to learn again. Mm-hmm. I like want to focus Especially on now this. Especially we're, well, now we're old men. It's right, like, right, right, dude, right. I spent all this time learning this. I'm finally yeah. good at this. Like I got to start over again and the answer that, is yes. That's what I meant. Like I don't want to teach yeah. myself how to do this again. 
But now I feel like it's something that you kind of got to adapt to, you know, right? I think it's like, if you just learn the, this is what I'm speaking, like if you just learn the basics and learn that language, like when it gets to be a bigger deal, then you'll, yeah, go yes. hire a DP, but at Absolutely. least you'll have that common basic yeah. language to be able to like communicate efficiently and effectively like what you want him to do and he won't look at you like you're yeah. a dumbass. Yeah, or no. Or she. No, absolutely. Or they. Absolutely. You know, you know if you yeah. really, if you really think about, if you really think about like seeing some of his videos, I'm, I mean, I give props to a lot of videographers out there, right? <clears throat> I'm a little bit more pickier because I've always been a cinematographer, like an avid fan from movies. Of course. And yeah. So I see some of the videos are super simple. I'm like, yeah. Okay. I should I be able do to that. do this. <laughs> yeah. I'm not being cocky or anything. It's just something, it's yeah. really easy, like, Conceptually, it's conceptually, like way it's, a, it's, too basic, it's not like know? it's telling. It's like it's not a story. It's just a lot of different mm -hmm. shots that are being put together in a cool way, and like you know, putting a little filter in here and adding some music. So, you know, that's yeah. something we should be able to do. You know? Yeah, absolutely, Chris. Yeah. You got a. Uh, it's weird to call you Chris, by the way. Sometimes Chris. Chris. Shintani. No, Mad Dog? I'm going Mad with Mad Dog. Dog. Mad Dog. I was going back that, to Mad Dog. That's I don't know, man. O double G. Um, you got a Canon R5 that's fully capable of amazing 8K video, video, although overheating issues. Um, oh, so I heard. Uh, but you, I'm not you, filming you, anything past 30 minutes, so it really doesn't yeah. matter. Have you, have you messed around a bit more since I, I last asked you? Or? I have. Um, I'm. If, if, if we want to segue into the NFT stuff, I'm like, I'm trying yeah. to start doing these like loops. So I've been Amazing. practicing with I love that. different aesthetics, uh, recording, figuring out loops, yeah. conversions to GIFs, if it needs to be a GIF or if you're doing still frames and stuff yeah. like that. But yeah. So no. that is an interesting segue. Let's, and kind of, I really want to like get into this too, because uh, I think that it is quickly becoming a rivaling, rivaling uh, source of revenue potentially for for exactly our craft that yeah. we're talking about NFTs, non-fungible tokens. Um, can someone smarter than me, either of you two, um, tell us what I that feel like is? Larson has a significant more. Uh, I'm, so I've been kind of obsessed with just learning a little bit more about NFT and why it's why, happening. Why, 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 everyone's, what's, why everyone's talking? About why is everyone talking it? about? It? First, you know, I thought it was comical. Obviously, right? Mm -hmm. If you really think about it, it's kind of with everything, right? Even Instagram, when it first came out, we thought it was the dumbest thing ever. Yeah. And then now yeah. everyone's using it, TikTok, everything, right? So now, like, I, I really saw the potential of it just, like, seeing when I start seeing all this big, you know, galleries that are really collaborating with NFT artists. Like mm. Christie's, for example. Yeah. Like, Christie's is, like, a huge art house. Yeah, it is the, it, it it's, is the it's art it's house. The art one, house. Of, one of two, I think. The right? fact that they were able, that they collaborated with people and, and mm -hmm. sold a $69 million NFT. Yeah. That's insane. Mass Ma making your digital image to NFT is basically putting a, creating it as a token and it creates a digital kind of a COA. Mm -hmm. What's certificate, a COA? What's, what's a like COA? A certificate of authenticity. Oh, right, yeah. So now you, and it keeps a record, so whenever this is passed around, it tracks down where it's getting passed to. Clarify for me though, it's like, uh, okay, so we all understand NFT is the certificate of authentication on the blockchain, cool. But anyone can go see the picture of your, you know. Yeah, but it's kind of like usage rights. Like, it's kind of like this thing where it's like, like instead of you having to validate like the usage rights for your pro, like for your shoot, right? So yeah. you're like, okay, like, this is my image and this is what I did. Uh, the COA basically is like, well, here is an actual transcribed, yeah. like, So you're the original guy. Like, you came where up with, this yeah. is. So like, you owe blah, 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 money if this is the case. Like, but there's like an actual that instead of someone just like ripping some shit off and But what is it in practice? Is it, is this Pokemon Go? Like, like, what is it? Is, so people are just like wanting to get it just to, Possess it, and by the way, this happens all the time in the physical world. So yeah, why shouldn't absolutely. it be any different? Yeah, that's, that's why. Yeah, though. it's just like oh, it's not bragging rights, but it's like oh, I got, oh, I got rights. this. Yeah. And does that probably in twenty years when Shintani was telling me about metaverse and how <laughs> we're all just gonna die? Because <laughs> we're all gonna become the <laughs> movie Wally. Like it, 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 it is though. It is. So really then, is. then I could see it holding currency, yeah. just the way, just the way owning a piece of art in the physical yeah. world, you you have kind of you know like. Well, just ima imagine this, right? It's like so. There's all these metaverses like showing up now, where like you have these these sims like sim like homes, and so you develop your own yeah. home stuff like that. So imagine this idea where like also one day instead of us being here, we meet inside like a Ready Player One situation. And the house that we're in has like the original like 
what is it? The um, um, board apes, like fucking. Yeah, the board yeah apes. we're like, oh wow, yeah, how you're like, cool. damn. Yeah, you were rich. You're, you're, you're like, the owner that, of this, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that so that's really no cool. different than the physical world. Yeah. By the way, um, I still want to get together with you guys in the real world in twenty years. <laughs> we'll be hip, I, we'll be hipsters. I think we'll, we, we'll we be the OG ones. Will. Yeah, yeah, we'll be the OG ones. <laughs> I'll see you guys in metaverse. I don't know, but I'm not sure. But that's interesting. So like, we're all, we're all photographers capable of creating content uh, mm -hmm. shoots product obviously before we've been we we're like we we're, we're chasing clients hire us we right. will tell your story of your brand we, now we have a chance to kind of take control back and, and create art that's that absolutely you know that isn't like so we create a piece of art we don't have to like go to Christie's and say please buy and yeah. auction off my photograph but we yeah. can go on to the ethereum chain mm -hmm. and but like okay so walk me through it Larson so yeah I sign on to Ethereum. I plug my back of my neck in. I go into the matrix. Right. So, so like, like OpenSea. Right. What what kind are, of like what other biggest. places do you do you sell NFTs at? There's so OpenSea is kind of like God. the the biggest one mm -hmm. out there right now. It's yeah. kind of like the main one that everyone goes to. But there's a lot of other ones. It's like let's say Foundation, uh, Rarible, Nifty Gateways. These are all like catered for more like artistic like artwork so it's yeah. a little so less a little less competition right so there's like fees the fees are probably a little bit higher for minting and for gas fees and all that but now you're competing with less less people from the mm -hmm. open sea and mm -hmm. there's a lot more art art artsy because right now nft there's it's it's a bunch of you know there's the board apes and there's like the crypto punks those are more to me i personally think it's not really art right yeah. it's like trading Pokemon cards. Well, yeah. Yeah. Right? So it's more it's Pokemon. a series of things. Yeah. So and for the listener, I know what Board Apes is, but like, tell, real quick, just tell us what that is. Fucking, I mean, it's one just of the most expensive <laughs> entities out there, right? Yeah. It's literally just it's, different variants of, yeah. yeah. It's, it's um, just consecutive series of like variants of, of yep. apes. Illustr illustrated. Illustrated. They're illustrated. They're kind of like, so not, not 8 bit, but they're kind of like, like import, import 2D. Form, import yeah. form. Yeah. So it's created by, it's like an algorithm, right? So it's created by a computer and just, does like 10,000 variants of it, yeah. right? So, so it's variants meaning like one has a hat on, one's smoking, one correct, has sunglasses yeah. on, one smoking like has a, a hat on feature. and... Like yeah. a unique feature, right? So yeah. that was, so depending on each image makes it more unique than the other. That's yeah. why each, they're all different prices. So, right? so yeah, that makes sense when you're saying like this is more kind of like collecting all, collect them all. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but, versus creating art, like you going out taking a photograph and then bringing it into whatever, you know, editing. Well, it's also a different experience too though, like because like in the real world, especially with like oil paints or if you do like a silver gelatin print or something like that, when you go and see it live, you're like, wow, this yeah. is. And, th and this is the only like part where um, I think the, Forget, forgive the sirens, you guys. Uh, Chris, <laughs> oh, I live in downtown. Shantana so lives sorry. in downtown LA, which is constantly yeah. rocked by gang We're violence. Just, <laughs> just gang violence everywhere, yeah. guys. Um, <laughs> no, but yeah, it's. Uh, I, I think it's it's sort of in that same factor, but at the same token, it's like you don't get to experience that, but it's different now that it's digital. Like I think there's a different uh, pool than the textural pool of yeah. what traditional real life art. Is. But with that, doesn't it come a lot of noise? Like you're saying like OpenSea is the biggest and you said there was a couple of other smaller right. ones, but like it's kind of like when iTunes and Spotify came around, now, now we don't need the middleman. Like we can, I can, if I'm a band, I can record an album and put it on iTunes and put it on Spotify and maybe I'm not gonna make a million dollars, but at least my stuff is out there. Yeah. Sa same when Instagram came around, it's like, okay, everyone's yeah. a photographer now, yeah. you know? So like now that everyone can kind of be an artist and auction off their stuff, like how do you break through? Like, is it as simple as like something going viral or is there like a smarter marketing, is like an algorithm to hack or do you hire a, well, hire a cottage, is this a new cottage industry is like. I don't know if you've heard the same thing, but hmm. I heard marketing for a lot of the NFTs. Is, Are people really doing marketing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, they're hiring people for marketing? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's even with like, um, like Nifty Gateway and stuff like yeah. that. It's like you have all these like platforms where if you are either giving them Ethereum or like you're paying them basically yeah. for the marketing platform and then no, they will do the email blast and be like, yo, you know what? up and coming artists coming out, dropping like, you know, yeah, like yeah. this huge drop for an album, check it out. It's mm. gonna be, you know, no, like, gonna be like two to three Ethereum per kind of shit. So now but we're like, just back, we're back into the physical it's, it's, world it's of the same, Like this is just same now theory. So that's, yeah. so that's a sad but part. Like, so the more I'm like reading into it, the, the best part why I really got into it is it gives 
a lot because you know how like there's so many amazing artists out there right that mm -hmm. are not getting the recognitions that they should be getting to because they're not like this and that like and you see other artists out there like you know horrible artists yeah right the guys I'm, i don't like to talk shit, but his stuff's like crap you suck and <laughs> he makes, try harder buddy <laughs> he makes so much money from his art because yeah. of the whole a lot of people think it's cool, but it's not. NFT gives a lot of this creative art, especially now. I, I like the the photography. This is what I'm seeing, and this is what I'm feeling, and a lot of people are talking about it too. 2022 is gonna be the photography of NFT. Like that's gonna be it. Mm. Like that's why I'm telling all my photographer friends get it on it before it yeah. gets so. So what? Big. So tell us. If, and obviously, if you have a strategy you don't want to disclose yeah. on this podcast, no, it's fine. No, I would but love like, to, yeah. but like, we do okay, have one listener. So, so, yeah, it's just, we're, we have one listener. You're gonna get this right. Hi, I'm gonna make you rich. Hi, Shantani's mom. No, but like, so this podcast into an NFT, guys. Yeah. Here we go. So, what what is what is your plan then? Okay, I like that. 2022. Let's let's get on before it becomes a shit show. Right. Like, are you gonna hire a marketing firm? Like, how much money are you gonna put into? How many NFTs are you gonna put up for sale? Because they aren't cheap to no. to post in the gas yes. fees, like to mint in the gas fees. And then you're gonna pay marketing to push it. Yeah. Like, what are we talking about? So, here? what are you doing? So right now, obviously, I'm I don't have the money to do the whole marketing yeah. thing right now, right? I know a couple of my friends that do that for they they're established artists and it makes it works for them, obviously. But for for me, and I want to you know, so the, a lot of people that are like kind of similar position that I am, I think the best way to really do it is really study the whole NFT world, go on Discord, find out some different like you know places and just be in a community like yeah. nft is all about community is. what's, what what's discord for the listeners? so discord is kind of like a reddit it's, a, it's like a right? chat room so it's so, yeah it's a chat, chat room, room for chat a lot so it's kind of you know it's, it's it's usually discord and twitter twitter is yeah. huge on nft right now it's yeah like, no twitter is huge on all crypto yes, I all, think. all of that's them like the base of but that's where everyone yeah. who are in the nft world are like always posting dropping and it's just a whole community, right? So if you don't have money for marketing, get in that, get in communities, talk, figure out what everyone's doing. And you know, if your images are being seen by some of these big influencers, they'll probably blast you, and that's mm -hmm. like enough to get your name out there. So like, hey but, guys, I, I think, but, it's it's Lucas. And yeah. what what do I what do you <laughs> hear it's also, about it's, NFTs? It, it, it's also kind of almost like treating it like a client, right? So yeah. it's like obviously you want to create what you want to create, right? But like at the same token, if you're trying to make money, you obviously need to cater to a certain dynamic that's going yeah. to buy what you're going to sell, mm -hmm. right? So if you you can you can look at the discords and like the reddits and twitters yeah. and seeing what people are buying and you're like all right cool so it's a bunch of kitschy shit right now right yeah. like we got board apes that are like crushing which is yeah. i i'm like i'm just flabbergasted i'm like oh fuck <laughs> this, is, this is what we think art is right now that's fucking it's like the banana with a goddamn tape on <laughs> you know and so i'm like all right cool if you're gonna rock with that all right well i want to try to translate that within something that i can see but like isn't that right but like right. it's just you're you're, yeah. you're you're catering towards that market, but not. So when you say catering, you you set out to create content for NFTs. Well, based you're saying on that's my client. Yeah. So that's my client. Now, how do I, how do I adapt my own, style, my own vision. style, my own mm -hmm. artistic vision into what the client wants? I, yeah. I, I see where Shintani is coming from there. I get that. For me, I try not to change my art, and I feel like mm -hmm. I want to bring show my art out there, and people actually appreciate it. I like. I have some followers on Instagram, but I want to like. You got about 138,000 followers. <laughs> I don't know, really, really not. But I'm just saying. But I feel like a lot of artists are not being recognized, right? Like right now, landscape photographers are making so much money from NFT, and they weren't getting any of that before. Right? Yeah, yeah. Because they're shooting the coolest shit. They're like risking the craziest. You know, I've seen those images when those mm -hmm. people are like, one of the artists I forgot his name, but he he's crushing it right now. But it's, he he kind of like. He goes in one of the highest buildings. He will take a photo of himself. He's showing his legs, but those kind of images are just making so much money right now in the NFT world because they're being appreciated. And also, like digital artists, mm -hmm. they're not getting a lot of recognition. Are the ones like you know, yeah, like Beeple, yeah, right? I mean, he just sold what sixty nine million million on a collection. Collection. Crazy. So like, <laughs> it, it's it's insane. So I feel like for an artist, this is the perfect way of getting your art out there without finding like a collector or like all this art snobs that they think what art is, right? right? But that's the thing too though, is like you have to like, I don't know, from my own perspective, it's like there there is a level where it's kitschy, right? Where it's like, mm -hmm. it's like easy. 
Yeah. It's like, okay, cool. If I had, it, and this isn't anything against the landscape guy with the legs, but like if, like if I was able to get access to a high, like a skyscraper, yeah. And sit there and shoot some shit, right? It's like it's like what like what are you gonna market with that? Like mm -hmm. what what like what clients gonna like pay for that? All this other stuff, right? Yeah. Um, when it comes to like anything within social stuff, it's like okay, well that was cool. And there's also like the whole Instagram page where it just shows repetitiveness of yeah. the same aesthetic. But then now that NFTs exist, I'm like that's where you get the people where it's like, well, all these people still thought it was cool. And if you had anyone that has too much Ethereum, they're like, yes. yo, I'm down for this shit. That's exactly, yeah. that's exactly what it is. Yeah. It's literally all the people that are making money, that made money from Bitcoin and Ethereum, yeah. needed something to invest into. That's why the NFT is like such a big thing right now. It's another way of investment. I feel like some of the bigger artists are gonna jump into this. Mm -hmm. There's some yeah. bigger artists are jumping and they're actually making money on it, like Tyler Shields. Yeah, oh God, He's, he, um, he must be. He I mean, easily, I mean, he, uh, he, did, he actually like, he beat me to it and actually, I saw, he did one who was like amazing, brilliant way of doing it for his photography is um, he had, do um, you know how Andy Warhol did the, um, the different still, still screen? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Call it. It's exactly what, that's NFT, basically, if yeah. you really think about it. Yeah, like, yeah. Like yeah, yeah different yeah. variants. So he did one with a couple of his images. That's a brilliant mm. move like that. That's the best way to like really convert your, your image to NFT. Well, yeah, if you different. have the money for the minting, though, yeah. that's where it gets. So minting heard, is very expensive. Yeah, too. I was going to say, but I heard there's a, maybe it's not OpenSea, but there is an NFT site, gallery, whatever it's called, where it's a little bit cheaper. You, you can put it up for sale, but you don't have to pay the mint right away, and you only pay the mint when someone's interested. That's, that's rareable. rareable. Rareable? Yeah, it's called rareable. Is, so. is there an advantage to that? I, Ob obviously saving money, but isn't, isn't anyone even so, there, like... So for me, yes. So for people that don't have the money to just mint their images, which could be very expensive. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like what is it like three to four fifty right now it's to a, mint? It's a couple yeah. hundred. Or it, yeah. it changes. It changes. So yeah. depending more, the more people get into it, the Cheaper. traffic, then the more it is. So Rarible basically what they do is like you know like it's free minting. Once it's sold, you know they get fifteen percent of it. It's actually lower than most if say if you in the art world. Yeah, right. Most art dealers usually will like get thirty percent of that. Larson, you know? I have a question for you. Yeah. So you have a very infamous. You have, okay, I want you to tell this full story. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> you, do I know what you're talking about? Because I feel like. I hope so. Because if I'm right, this is the first image that I'm going to be using for my first NFT. <laughs> and I want to. I want to hear you guys you thoughts have, about you it. You have an infamous image of a that you took. I don't know when you took yep. it. Probably I don't know five, six, seven years yep. ago, and yep. it yep. is of a. Uh, a model, yes, and she is not wearing anything. Correct, and and she is sitting in a public, fully open and open for business. And very busy Friday very night. Very busy. Oh, I know exactly. What <laughs> Fuck. And, and it's it's great because it's, it's yeah. you can't see. And she's definitely naked, but yes. you, you can't see anything. Like she's sitting at it. She's sitting at the booth eating a cheeseburger, oh, and great. she's fully naked. And there are the next booth over is like looking like what the fuck. <laughs> And there's also people in the background. It's awesome. I was just talking about this with a friend the other day because I knew I was going to see you. I'm like, oh, you got to check out this image. We talked about this one yeah, before yeah, so we first did, off, I did. First off, tell us the story. But then we'll, then, okay. then we'll talk about it. But tell us the story because I think that should be your like debut NFT. I love that you brought that up because that's what I've been thinking for my de debut for it. Absolutely. So, there, there's, there's nothing better than so that. So what makes it rare is like if you really Google it, you won't be able to find anything similar to it, right? So, yeah. Um, Tell us the story. Tell, what, like, so, so the story is, um, <laughs> I, it was super random, right? So I've been thinking about doing a shit like this with somebody. I, I was waiting for somebody ballsy enough to do it with me. Yeah. Mm. To be hard. naked. To be naked at a public. In public. public. Which is <laughs> there? Do you want not want to say? The most busiest one <laughs> in Hollywood. Oh, the that, only so Hollywood one. Off yeah, by yeah, Orange yeah. behind yeah. the high school. <laughs> exactly. The only Hollywood which is like busy every yeah. single night. Anyway, so we, I had a shoot with this model. Ellis, um, she's based in London, really cool chick. And she's always, I brought it up to her after the photo shoot. What'd you say? I told her, I've been wanting to do a shoot. I want to shoot someone naked at a restaurant. And I was, and <laughs> she actually, she said, I'm down. And when she said, I'm down, I was kind of, I was like, wow, she, she said, I'm down. All right, I was like, should we do it right now? And it's like, she said, she's down. So I was like, oh fuck, okay. So we, we literally did this right after the photo shoot. And the funniest thing is like when we were shooting in Venice, I wasn't really feeling the vibe when we were shooting. I wasn't feeling a creative. 
I didn't really feel like the images were gonna be good. I just didn't, you know, sometimes yeah. when, you're photo, when you do a shoot, you're just not feeling something. And that kind of gave me that second, like, so wait, but you were in Venice. This is yes, we're, this is hyper local yeah. content, folks. So you people in Kansas, uh, Venice and the Hollywood <laughs> is like Very a, is like an hour and a half of traffic to get yeah. to. It's yeah. like thirteen miles, but it takes you an hour. So like, yeah. you're like, no, but I want to go to this <laughs> probably the most beloved and famous uh, yes. fast food places in Southern California. <laughs> yes, and this one, you're not kidding. This is no, this is the. So you went, you went for it. Like we you, went for it at 6 p.m. Let me just tell you, 6 p.m. The, the most busiest, rushed. This is yeah. the busiest. If you, you guys will see the image once I post it on, repost it on, <laughs> on Foundation. I believe I might do this hey. on Foundation or Rarible. Um, I'm still kind of debating which one. Yeah. So anyways, I set it up. I had this idea of how I can execute it. I have to, I needed 15 seconds to execute this. And what I did was... I had the makeup artist start the car, ready to go. Right? Yeah. So I had me and the model come in. She was wearing what? What was she wearing? She's wearing something. She's wearing. So I didn't. I didn't. I don't want to. Can't wear. kill all of it. So you, you gotta. You gotta. <laughs> you gotta do it strategically. So you go in there, with clothes on, um, order some burgers. Luckily, I was able to find the booth right in the middle where I wanted the shot. To be. Yeah. Yeah. Sat there. I did some practice shot to give this idea where people think it's just a regular photo shoot, right? Yeah, yeah. So I just snap, snap, snap. <laughs> they were like, oh, okay, they're just shooting. So after that, I had the food, we had the food ready, and I told the model, hey, go to the bathroom, change to your kimono. <laughs> so she had this small black kimono. She changed in the bathroom. Yeah, she went changed hey. the bathroom, just fully naked, come out with the kimono. So now you're not really grabbing attention what's going on. Yeah. So once she walked in there, come out with the kimono, I was ready. To set to shoot on the corner and the, you can't see on the image but the side where i'm sitting at it's fully packed with people and a whole basketball team of kids just walked in <laughs> i'll kid you not this is the most funniest thing they just sat where kind of where i was sitting at all these kids just play basketball right anyway she comes out with his little black kimono sat down and i i counted on my finger saying one two three and then she took it off oh shit <laughs> and i start snapping for a good 15 seconds so she's fully naked, fully naked, sitting in the booth, <laughs> sitting on the booth. And at first, this is the most craziest because I can feel it on the side of my head. No one was noticing what's happening because I was taking photos of it earlier, and they yeah. just, they just ignored shot. it. Yeah. So smart. And then all of a sudden, boom! They see I was oh shit! I can hear all these people. Oh shit! And then one of the employees were walking in, as you can see on the image. Once you guys see it, yeah, yeah. She saw it, and she was kind of had this smile and see what was going on. By the time she turned around to tell her manager, I got up, <laughs> true story, I said this. I got up, sat, uh, stood next to her, I grabbed the burger, I took a bite of the burger, best burger ever, <laughs> smacked it on the table, we walked out, and got in the car, and left. Yeah, amazing, dude, but yo. I don't know how that happened, because I don't even know how that happened. That was I think you just told us how that happened. That was the craziest rush I've ever felt in my life. That was Hell like, yeah, man. You know, and I mean, for her, I give her so much props because that was so bossy. Because it's huge. She was visiting, and that could have messed up her visit. Yeah. When she gets arrested for public nudity. Listen, no, as long as she knew that the car was the car was started yes. already. No, I love her for that. Yeah. That's, that's so, so amazing. So he's hopped in the car and like drove that sped out. We we parked a couple blocks down and ate our cheeseburgers. Yeah. Yo, so when you're getting tired. the you shot on film. Uh, I didn't shoot it. It was my digital camera. It was before I was still shooting. We got into film like. After that. Okay, cool. So, so, yeah. so my question is, so then you're, you're eating cheeseburgers in the car a few blocks down the street and you're reviewing the photos and you know you got it. Oh, like, yes. What, what kind of rush was that? Oh, it was, it was amazing. I was like, okay, that was a shot right there. Because I really only had probably 10 shots yeah. within that time frame. I needed yeah. to get out of there as soon as possible. Absolutely. Oh, you didn't want to get arrested? Yeah, <laughs> that, that would have been a really cool um, yeah, really street cool fair. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That would have like really added yeah. to the yeah. whole like That wearable. probably would have made the NFT a lot make more expensive. Yeah. more wearable. <laughs> it would be the image plus my mugshot. Yeah, and, and, and for the more sensitive viewers here, like it was a, she was a naked young woman, but like the, the photo is The photo is fantastic. sick as Like fuck. you can't, you, she's completely covered. Yeah. Like you can see that she's naked sitting in the booth, but you can't see any Anybody, of her bits and parts. Exactly. Uh, once, I, once I make enough money in life, yeah. I will be bidding on this. Yeah. yeah. Like, like and she, uh, she's eating her, eating her cheeseburger, looking at the camera, and people around the, you know, in, in the scene is like, "What the hell?" And it's just like, it's just one of those. I can see why it would be such a great, great That's NFT to hang in someone's oh. Matrix living room yes. in twenty years. 
Because now you it's just like, need to do this in every restaurant you go to. Yeah. I had this idea of do this fast food. So I shot actually two other shots, but not inside, outside Taco Bell. Gotta do it inside. I know, I like the inside better. Because yeah. that, that gives a whole different... Such a different dynamic. Dynamic, dynamic to it, right? So Don't be a pussy. So if I want, <laughs> hey, you know what? I'll do it. It's about finding the model. It's about finding that because I'm not the one getting naked, right? Yeah. Obviously, I gotta find another model. Nah, yeah, yeah. Next you gotta do Bestia. You gotta yes. do Ednaka. Yeah. Oh. You gotta do. Wait, you should I do like the top like Michelin stars? Yeah, exactly. Oh, Michelin, do like, do like, oh my god. French Laundry. Yes. Yes. Now we're home for you. Yeah, exactly. Um, Brilliant so, idea. So, Thanks for that. So, guys. question, and you don't, you can just give me a ballpark, yeah. like. <laughs> what like what do you what do you think you want to charge for the, again just so, yeah like like you think oh this is my debut one I'm I want to establish myself as an artist I'm gonna say ten million wait wait, wait hold on wait, like, wait but are you dropping just one or are you doing a so like, with her with like a mustache has. her with a cigarette her with sunglasses <laughs> like different variants yeah I wanted I want this to be for photography I feel like it, it, especially if it's an image you're not really do a lot of things on it I want to make it one one obviously okay yeah. so but I'm also contemplating of doing a animation on it so starting with like make it blurry and then translating it to the image yeah because what i want to do is like i want to sell the nft as an nft and then have some additional for the winner like yes so there's this brand called um this clear like frames and it's the, it's digital you can't really change the image on it it's just embedded into it so like oh. it's an it's a really cool like um Beeple actually did that. So, okay. so when he sold his image, he whoever, like everyone that buys wins the you know the NFT gets like a like a frame version of it. So I want to do something similar to that, but I want it to animate. I want it to be just an image. So that's why either I'm trying to figure out. I contact a few animators to figure out how to animate that, and so maybe like a you know, five second loop. Or yeah. something like that instead of just an image. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that's another way. But I want to keep this as a one on one, and then after this. I want to do a collection. I want to start uh -huh. doing series. Yeah, I've had I have so many images that I was trying to look for a home for. Like it's, you know, we put it on Instagram. We're not for an artist. We're not getting paid for this. Instagrams yeah, yeah. they're getting all the free images from photographers. So now it's the best way for all the photographers and artists to like get their image out there and get paid for it. Yeah, I mean, right? I think I think that's the whole what Web three is. Is oh, exactly. now yeah. we're taking a, we're it's taking for, like why is Instagram us, and Facebook and Google and yeah. uh, Apple benefiting from like sure we get some followers and maybe we get exposure to a client or two but they're the ones like getting like absolutely so like oh, f that yeah. like yeah. no it's absolutely so that, that's what well, web3 is issues are, like the same way right now yeah. i'm like so it's really interesting it's like okay so we all you know to wrap up the nft talk we all kind of came up with a mindset of like working for somebody else like this is our trade this is our art we want to like base, we want to take our artistic view and our you know, you know, our, our, our eye and hopefully translate that to like Adidas or Revolve or mm -hmm. Wrangler or whatever and get a little bit of money for that. Now we're kind of taking our, 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 our skill, our trade, our art, and we're making it our own. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And now Which it's like, great. and now here's a, here's a way to, to make even more money than getting cool. like the occasional campaign or billboard. Like, but it's also great too with an artist standpoint where it's like you don't have to like rent a studio out to yeah. showcase it. You don't have to pay like for all of these different things. Printing, you do have to pay minting. Like, you got to pay gas fees. Yeah. You know, but, but hopefully, you're not, but you're not paying the same. It, it's so so. I mean, there's a significant difference between that and like renting out a, a large space with a gallery and having someone like promote exactly. it and getting and like drinks print it out yeah, sort of it's, it's a lot of expensive like, yeah, staff yeah, and you like, want people drunk because you want them to buy your art like this is like alright cool we're just gonna do this shit while you're in your mom's basement right absolutely. now absolutely like, are you gonna buy this or not like yeah. here's where we're going yeah I, I like know, that I, think, I like that I'm and motivated it, and we have like you said we have like between the three of us I know because we've all known each other so long. we have so many, so many like what amazing I, I have five photos <laughs> <laughs> But Shintani has taken right five photos. You hold that's, it. That's, You're that's gonna have false. to hold it, uh, Shintani. For, we got. We have uh, a little bit to go here. What do we have? Um, so we have one question. The question. <laughs> the question we got on Tumblr is, and I wanted to say this because I knew you were coming on the show, uh, Larson, because Larson himself shoots a lot of film. Uh, is film really relevant in fashion in 2021? I think by what he means by that is like in modern day, right? Mm. Do clients ask you to shoot f for full film on a project, or is it ever and only a supplement, or like a supplement, like oh. you know, like oh, Good do question. some film shot? I'm going broke processing and scanning my film, and I feel it's never used by clients. So that's, like that's a good like question. or or it's like and I don't know where he's from. Maybe he's like you know in Atlanta or something yeah, yeah. like. 
So yeah, so our clients, like film seems to be very trendy. Uh, yeah. You know, it's, it's been back for like 10 years and Kodak just up yeah. their um, cost charging, of Portra. Charging FDO. crazy. Yeah. Like, Portra is going You know, crazy. so it's like, it yeah. seems like very like, it, it, trendy is a derisive term, but it's like I mean, it's film. Like we all, like we all fell in love with fashion right. photography. Well, you get the latitude. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. So, but like, <laughs> but who's really are like is like are our clients really being like, hey, Larson, shoot this all, only on film, or is it like, all right, we're gonna shoot it. Hey, go ahead and pop off and shoot a few rolls if we have time. And like, oh, we love that. We'll use it. Or is it, you know what I mean? Like, are you guys shooting film for actual work? Work? Obviously, personal work separate. But like. Who is asking to be to, to shoot film in 2021 and beyond? To for me, it's it's a hard. It's really hard. Sometimes I have to really convince my clients that my forte personally is film. I shoot differently when I shoot film and digital for some reason. Uh, I just feel with digital. I just feel like I'm like click heavy. Yeah, me too. Um, we're just ten. We have this program in our head that like, all right, I can just keep clicking, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll click like, it till I get it. Yes, I won't. I won't take time. Thank you. I'll click it till I get it. Well, yes, you also, yes, you yeah, also exactly. have a client that like might be or like like hovering your shoulders. Yes, they want to be like able that. to see it. Yeah. So yeah. there's so there's those clients that so there's there are times where digital actually makes sense, right? Obviously, right? Mm -hmm. They want to be able to see it and. But you're not gonna shoot ecom on film, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no you way. could. Yeah, I mean, you could. Actually, very expensive. We, we had that, but it was for like for Jeffrey Kramer back in the days. But it was yeah. it's a smaller like yeah, like ten yeah. shirts. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, but like I said, it's sometimes you gotta convince your client. If you're a film shooter, it's really hard to convince your client, right? There's yeah. some photographers out. There, I mean, there's a lot of photographers that are like well known that shoots for the bigger brands, that are actually that's what they do. They yeah, shoot film, but yeah. It's very rare for a lot of everyone to get to shoot film for yeah. their client because they want to be able to see it and they want to have options. Yeah, our clients asking like, like, is it or are you, are you saying, hey, I can also shoot film or like, Larson, can you also can you pop off ten rolls? So when I when people when they tell me that, so I tried doing that and I said yes, and then that was the worst answer. I've <laughs> <laughs> Shooting film and digital at the same time is yeah. really hard. Yeah. Because you're trying to get the same image, and that's really hard to do for the model. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're trying to get the model to react the same exact thing that you were trying. So it's really yeah. hard. So that's one thing I learned. So it's either they really trust you with film, and depending on what they're trying to get, they want to get more of the vibe, lifestyle vibe, and not really focus on the actual, you know, like what the logos like and all that stuff. Yeah, more yeah. of the yeah. essence of yeah. what then. Film really works, right? Yeah. For yeah. digital, sometimes they want to be able to see the logos. Yeah. They want something really. They want everything perfect. perfect, and they want to be perfect, yeah. so that makes sense. So, um, it really depends, man. Like, Shantani, what's been your experience? No, I think it's the same, like same dynamic, where it's like, if you shoot, like, if you shoot digital with a, uh, even with talent, like yeah. just with talent. Never mind client. Um, if you shoot digital, it's it's a very very different dynamic than like if I shoot with like an RZ. Yeah, yeah. Like if I'm like yeah, shooting absolutely. like full film and like you're going in, they're like, whoa. And, 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 and it's it's so ridiculous, but it's like for some reason, everyone just takes it more seriously. Yeah, right? no, you slow like the F down, which I yeah. like about, that's what I like yeah. about it. It's film. crazy that you said yeah. that, that yeah. actually makes sense. Like yeah. everyone Ooh, slows down. it's a film, everyone. it's a Pentax 6-7. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, whoa, you're shooting film. And I'm like, yes, it's literally the exact same fucking thing <laughs> we're doing digitally. I just can't fire off as many and I have way less range, but Yes, it's the same fucking yeah. thing. And every shot takes costs about 375. you can't yeah. see the back of the screen or it's not tethered, yeah. the dynamic, yeah. I, I, I've always, like, that's why all my personal work is shot with film, because I'm like, because the dynamic is so significant yeah. that you're like, holy fuck. I like, like that you shoot all your, I didn't know that. You shoot all your personal, all personal work. work. I should fucking film. do that. Yeah. Like, because what my experience is, is I, I always pitch the client. I'm like, oh, yeah. and I can also, by the way, I can also shoot do this, you know, shoot, like, pop off a couple rolls and it'll be cool because, you know, we can, yeah. you can see the, oh, Kodak Portra. Yeah, yeah. 400, like the little <laughs> yeah, side yeah, thing. Yeah, or we, we can yeah. scan this. You, you uh, can just put those in. With <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> uh, you know, or you can scan the contact sheet. It looks really cool. Yeah. And they're like, great. And... But uh, Larson, you brought it up uh, like it is. It's so hard to recreate because you kind of like so I, I warm it up. I warm them yeah. up on digital, and yeah. I kind of got the shot already. Yep. Right. You know, and I'm like, okay, yeah. we'll do this thing again where you put your arm around her and you laugh and you you know squint your eyes and and they're like they do it and it's fine. But I only take two or three, and I look but at this the time they can't fuck up. Yeah, exactly. That's yes. what they know. Yeah, and I look at the film and I look at the digital. I'm like, well, I already got it. Like, I'm like, and There's this no one's a, this one's easier to Photoshop because it's yeah. already it's already kind of like natively exactly. a raw file. So yeah. I'm like, oh, let's do this one. And, but I like the I like the um, so just, uh, in, in, in in so many words a handicap. And like, you know what? I I don't have this personal work, right? Yeah, 
I don't have the digital, like it's only this. Yeah. I've got to rely on my directing you and there's no safety. Yeah. It's kind of cool. But that's why I'm, uh, and, and that's the thing that I've noticed, especially with like present day, is like when you're working with talent, um, that's the dynamic shift is when all of a sudden it's filmed. They're like, like most models, actors, anyone I know that, that shoots, if you're shooting with film with them, they're like, wow, this is something that you cannot just throw away. Yeah. yeah. You can't just hit like control delete. Like, yeah. It's just yeah. like, we are going, yeah. and this is it. So this, we have to make a count. And it's also, you also only have a finite amount of film where with digital, it's like, well, yeah, I mean, it's not infinite, limited. but it's pretty yeah. fucking huge. Yeah. So like, yeah. you know, like, that's where I think that shift happens. And then especially when you go media format, everyone's like, whoa. Yeah. Less, less images to shoot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 10, yeah. 10 images to roll type of thing. <laughs> By the way, I like how like 25 years ago, like this wasn't even a conversation. Like no, it was just, it was just film. Like, it's that's, all film. That's yeah. how it yeah. was. Yeah. And yeah. now like, I know we're not that young, but we're also not that old, but like, yeah. We're like, whoa, film, well, crazy. Yeah. And our older listener is well, like. Well, I also am like, okay, so I see a lot of kids shooting film, and I'm always like, how much money do you Oh, they spend so much. Yo, I did not have this kind of money, because in college, fuck, yeah. I was. I see so many kids yeah, that like gold shit. hour. Gold one hour, just standing yeah. in line and just, dude, same, yeah, dude. Man. But that's a rite of passage. I love that. I love that. Yeah. You know, they keeping it, they keeping that film like alive. You know, and I yeah. love that part yeah. of it. You know, yeah, same, it's same. Appreciation, man. And it's a whole, like I said, it's a whole. Like I said, I shoot so differently on film. I don't know why. It's, I think it's just the way. If you're, if you have a, a, a limited amount of shot, you're a little bit more focused. Mm-hmm on what you're trying to accomplish to shoot. You're focusing. You're focusing. You're focusing right? better, I yes. Mean, <laughs> with, with, with digital, obviously, sometimes I feel like, you know, you can you can get a lot of shots for yeah. like, and get the shot that you need. Well, do you ever run into the problem where you like stare at the back on a film camera? Uh, <laughs> I run into the problem oh, where I want like, to change to see, to see the image. That? Have you ever done that? Um, I don't recall, but I'm sure I've had. I've, I've had done it on a contacts when I was traveling one time, where I was just like, I was, I was in Japan uh-huh. and I was just shooting. Did you look at it? I looked, I was oh. like, <laughs> you know what? I, you know what I want to do? I'm like, oh, I'm like, I'll, I'll, I'll take, I'll take my meter reading, and I'll be like, oh shit, I'll just bump up my ISO. I'm like, I can't bump up my ISO. <laughs> what the? It's great, dude. Yeah, it's like, what film did I pack? The best is when you already have like pre-packed film in there, where you're just like, oh, I had like, like all my hustle ball bags. Uh-huh. It's like, oh, I have a bunch of like 400 in there, and I'm like. I'm pretty sure it's 400 in there. I'm like, right. Oh, yeah, I, I've had those. We'll roll the dice really on this one. Like 400 <laughs> oh my in there god! Right now, bro. <laughs> I, 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 that happened to me before. Larson, where do you get your film developed in LA? I go to Gold One Hour. Hell yeah, oh, man! Like a town Gold. Kind of like you know the the one OG. spot. But yeah, I, I love the way they spill, the scans comes out. I mean, Absolutely. But although I want to, there's a spot that uh, if you want to do a little bit more professional and not spend like icon money. Yeah. As um, Impact Digital. It's oh, cool. Yeah, I know. I know them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wait, I is that by where the Jared cemetery. Goes? Jared. Jared. Hey, Jared Thomas, New York photographer. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes LA I photographer. I feel like I see him post that. Quite yeah, yeah. He goes back and forth. I, yeah. I, my last thing I did, Icon. I did like a couple roles there. I was like, like one hundred and twenty-five. I'm like, it, they're great. Icon, yeah, yeah, they're we great. love you, but like, holy cats. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. You, like you, you get what you like. The quality yeah. is on par with the price, but. Well, you could also just pay. You know, I, need, I need to sell some more NFTs. For a drum scanner. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. that's it. I think like Not Jared, Jared, uh, Casual. Jared Thomas, he yeah, has, he has, no, I think he has like a Naritsu. Like he bought one for like 10K so off of smart. eBay. I've been wanting, yeah. I was yeah. wanting to do that. I mean, like, yeah. Get it yeah. You just well, if you're just doing, uh, like if you're just shooting 35 for the majority of things, yeah, exactly I think right. it's, it's, it's beneficial. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And then John Shell, hi, John Shell. He got that uh, Kodak carousel thing. Oh, oh for, I've seen those. Yeah. Now, now, I think he got his for like 700 and now they're like, Absurd. Is it Kodak or is it Fuji? Is it the one that's, with that? I, ugh, yeah. I'm not sure, but it's like it's just like you feed it in, and it just yeah. like scan, 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 scan. Yeah. It just you know. I love that. Yeah. I have. I mean, I have the Epson. Do you guys have the Epson 800? Oh yeah, the I, flatbed, yeah. Flatbed I like. Shooting. I love that. The I was problem like, with the flatbed though is oh, like you get takes, dust. You get dust, and it's fucking really dust, hard to man. keep the images consistent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. Like yeah, yeah. silver image, fast. Compared to like you know the Naritsu, it's like yeah. easier. It's like old school computer, and then you just really yeah. mess up, mess with the same like it. You know? But yeah. there's something about like when you like put it in and it does the thing. It I'm like, better. I feel like it just like has less dust for yeah. some reason, and it's sharper and yeah. it like calibrates correctly. And you're like, oh, that's how it should be with a fucking like my Epson. I'm like, 
well, how many notches do I have so on much my work. levels right I feel now. that the, the listeners that have not tuned out yet are our most loyal ones. <laughs> they're, the, they're the most like dedicated photographers, because I'm pretty so sure. For one listener. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love it. it. I feel like everyone kind of tuned out after the naked girl <laughs> like, like, listen to these nerds talk Show about the dust the factor. <laughs> <laughs> we want more booze. <laughs> Guys, this has been fantastic. Oh, by the way, this is episode one. I we've, love it. Yeah, I'm glad I'm part of episode yeah, one. Episode so one. And by the way, Shintani, we, we've been having episode one for about three years now. That's right. Yeah. This is the yeah. actual episode this one. This is actual Amazing. episode one. Yeah, and we Larson, have three Larson Satello is here. I'm so stoked. Initiating, and like, uh, okay, I'm gonna like, Text you privately. Text. That's how yeah, old text I am. I'm gonna text you privately about more NFT shit. Cause yeah, let's do it. I, I think we should all have a meeting or like. We should I'm actually. so down. Like I, I can you there guys, be drinking? Per, oh, dude. Let's <laughs> <laughs> stick with wine and, and wine and sake. Yeah, yeah. But you know, there's so much. I think we should definitely because we have so many images that it's not being out out there. Yeah. 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 We have to dude, get wait, I, I have 12 years of like mostly test shoots that I don't know. Like I, I love. I yeah. think they could be something. We Do should it. absolutely. Yeah. I've been, and also my friend, he wants to start like an NFT gallery, and I want to start getting like friends and photographers to like really get into it. Yeah, yeah where yeah, we can yeah. Larson tell our listener where they can find you yes. uh, on and on all the. Apps. I mean, I would say just Instagram. I have a link tree in there, so just do find your me. whole thing. We need we need all the info. spell it out. Oh, so L A R S E N underscore S O T L O. I'll put it. I'll put it in the show notes. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then Twitter is the same name. Shintani, where, where, can that, where can our one listener find you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> with you at some point. With me, yeah. With me well, at Tony's across the street. Yeah, we'll be at Tony's. It's fine. Now, yeah. what's your socials? Uh, social at Shintani. At Shintani. S-H-I-N-T. It'll be in the show notes, guys. Yeah. Yeah, and all the things. And I'm at Lucas Passmore on Instagram, and all the stuff will be in the show notes. Guys, comments. Questions? Please, and, yeah, write in. Uh, yeah, um, write in to uh, email address I've not established yet, but will be in the show notes with your questions, comments, and requests. You know, and requests. And requests. And I requests. Will show Larson, you my dick. please right. come back I, I, and be on the show to. again. Yeah. I would love to. Man. Yeah, come this, back this after you like are, are a minted after we're all NFT famous. billionaire. Yeah. <laughs> and and please and please like wow. shill out a couple half of ethers for your old buddy Shintani and Pow. It's called like ETH. It's all the has better. All the ETH. Guys, we're wrapping up 2021. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and everything to you guys. Cheers, guys. Love you all. Thank you. Goodbye.